says, Simulu asks Dragon's Den's fans to stop death threats and harassments against Boba Company amid backlash. Now, here's the thing. All right. I hate these garbage people that are like, oh, cultural appropriation. You're appropriate. Simulu is not. I, okay, I need to double check. What ethnicity is Simu Liu? Birthplace, he was born in China in 1989. His parents in Beijing. He immigrated to Ontario, Canada. Gray, did you know that boba milk tea is from Taiwan? Yeah, that's he. He even said that himself. <laughs> I I watched the clip of him saying that himself. From I I think it was hypnotic. Yeah, I think it was hypnotic who covered this or Ryan. Yeah, no, it was Ryan. So, I think the, it was Ryan who covered it. So, yeah, yeah. So exactly the thing is that this piece of shit. Oh, you're appropriating. You're appropriating my culture. It is not your culture. It's Taiwanese culture. But he might be a CCP dick sucker because if maybe he's the one of those people who considers uh, Taiwan to be a part of, uh, you know, Taiwan is not actually a country. They don't, they, they don't you know, you know, freaking uh, observe them as a country. But let's go and read this. Simu Liu was a guest on CBC's Dragon's Den, the Canadian version of Shark Tank. After a clip of uh, Liu criticizing the Boba Company for cultural appropriation went viral, some fans have taken upon themselves to send death threats, something that Shang-Chi and the legend of the Dick Ring star has condemning. <clears throat> I want to say that I think that we hit on a really important discussion about cultural appropriation. What it is, it how something exploitive rather than paying homa to uh, paying respect when the line crossed. And in conversion, by the way, I experienced a massive way of positivity and support from people from our community. And I did think that incredible. I really appreciate that. On the flip side, I've been made aware that being an owner, we see a lot of dead threat and a harassment and the otherwise kind of bullying and dog pile. And I want to say that just full stop, never make never okay to make threat. It never okay to bully a harass online. This guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh my god, man. Yeah, he is. Like the thing is, in my opinion, if a person wants to make like their spin on Boba, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Let him do it. Like it's yeah, I look, they're trying to embrace your culture and sort of mend it with theirs isn't that what a melting pot is yeah i think he got flack from all the other panels during that time like they were criticizing him too like what's wrong with what they were trying to do then he, yeah i think he just shrugged he, shrugged, he just shrugged it off like okay do you do you remember do you remember when the first time like you heard about like asian fusion food it's like mm -hmm. like what what about Cali Cali Mexican? You know Cali Mex, Tex Mex. Um, there's like there's Korean tacos. There oh my Korean tacos are fucking good. They're they're so good. Like you put like bulgogi tacos, like short rib tacos. It's insane and yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, right. Exactly. That's how we discover new types of food. That if we maybe there's an ingredient that this culture has that. The other culture never knew about, and then that's how we discover new ty types of dishes. And then this guy saying, "Oh, cultural appropriation." Disgusting, yeah. man. See, so we said, the issue is that with the that the owners of the companies were French Canadians, and we like to improve and put here versus here's our spin on it. Like it's, it, if you're if if you're like an Asian Asian person, like for me, like for me, like I'm I'm a bit. I would say I'm sort of snobby when it comes to like drinking boba. Like I'm very specific. Like, like the if if the if I'm eating boba that's in in the, the tapioca balls that's inside. Like it has to be very the texture has to be really really good for me to eat it. But if not, then if the plate sort of sucks with boba like quickly, so it's like it's everywhere. I would mm -hmm. usually just get like a tea because the tea is a little bit more like in, in my opinion it's more refreshing. But yeah, man, like this. To be honest, he this guy. He gets what he fucking deserves, in my opinion. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. 
It's like whenever we talk about this guy, it's when did we ever talk about him in a good light? <laughs> it's always about nah, something. Never. Not, something always about something shitty he did or something shitty he said. He never says anything good. It's no. It's no wonder we don't get another sh- anything Shang Chi related anymore after his flop first film. I heard it might be getting a part two. That's I don't know. That's, that's what I heard. That that's been a while now. We've, I think that we've been hearing that for a while now. We've still nothing. Yeah, but uh, man, it's uh, it's crazy. The Barbie actor noted that he doesn't want the legacy of the segment to be pitchforks and people fearing for their safety. I think we're starting to lose the plot of what ultimately the positive energy, uh, what this is, which is educate people. Let's make the world better. If you want to make a, a world a better place, you got to let people embrace your culture, right? Like there's that guy on a Prager U. I forgot his name is Will. The Will something. I forgot his last name. Like he went to use uh not UCLA, uh Cal State LA in Los Angeles, and he wore a um a uh both times he wore the first one he wore a sombrero and he wore a poncho and he had like a Mexican mustache on. And he asked them, Is this offensive to you? And everyone on campus says, Yes, that's very offensive. And he asked them, Why? Why is that offensive? It's because it's not your culture. You shouldn't wear it like you shouldn't wear that kind of stuff. You shouldn't do that kind of stuff, right? And then he goes down to to like where all the Mexicans are, like in downtown mm-hmm. LA, there's like a mm-hmm. street in downtown LA where like a bunch of Mexican people do like their, um, like they have mm-hmm. business over there. He goes and asks them, it's like, what do you think about what I'm wearing? He's like, oh, I'm fine with it. You like my culture, embrace my culture. That's awesome. Why mm-hmm. are you not being inclusive? I thought, so, what's, what happened to inclusivity? Right. And he, that motherfucker did the same thing. He wore like, uh, he wore a fucking, um, you know, uh, Chinese, like, uh, you know, hat, you know, he looks basically looks like, you know, he wore a bunch of like stuff from like Chinatown and like he goes to use uh, to Cal State LA and he asks, you know, is this okay? And he, and all of them like, like clockwork says, it's not okay because that's not your culture. You're appropriating culture and you're a white guy. So you shouldn't do that. Dude goes to Chinatown and asks a bunch of the old like Asian ladies, is this okay? And they get, he gets a thumbs up. They said they like it. Yeah. Embrace our culture. We want our culture to, to spread around and with it being a melting pot that is, you know, especially in LA, that is the US, like, why is it not okay for people to love your stuff? It's like, oh, you can't eat our stuff. You're appropriating our food by eating it. Mm-hmm. You can't like lumpia. You can't like fried rice. That's our stuff. Get your own shit, man. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? But yeah, man, it's, um, yeah. So this is, this is a video right over here. All right, let's go and watch this, this clown. Watch this clown. He's on. He's on TikTok. Oh my god. Um, I just thought I'd make a video here in response to um, this crazy social media moment that I found myself in, um, as it pertains to uh... motherfucker is talking for six minutes. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That that is long. That is right. long. I will watch like two minutes tops. Uh, yeah, Den Den and the boba of it all. Um, first and foremost, I want to say I think we hit on a really important discussion about cultural appropriation, what it is, um, how is, you know, no. how is something exploitative rather than kind of paying homage and, and paying respect? Um, uh, when is that line crossed? Um, I'm, and and in that conversation, by the way, I've experienced a massive wave of positivity and support um, from people from every community, and I and I just think that's really incredible, and I and I really appreciate that. Um, on the flip side, I've been made aware that the business owners uh, have received a lot of um, the death threats and harassment, and and otherwise just kind of bullying and and dogpiling. And I just want to say that full stop. No, no, here's the thing. <laughs> Right. So those the, the death threats, when I was reading the article, it sounds like the death threats was being towards him. But he said in this video now, he's saying that the death threats are actually made towards the restaurant owners. Those people who are dogpiling on the restaurant owners are all his fans. Yeah. People who likes Kim's convenience. People who like Dick and the 10 diglets and and what's it called again and the fucking uh the fucking he he, he was in uh you know he was in he played ken right the asian ken they're all his people they're all his his fans yeah 
So yeah. why isn't he apologizing and telling them to stop? Right? He does say it later on, right? Because I read the quote earlier. Why yeah. did he say, first and foremost, I would like to apologize. That's what these leftists love doing the most. They love apologizing. Why don't you yeah. apologize for me not understanding and he, what he should have done, right? I, I, I'm a minute in. He should have done, it's like, I want to, first and foremost, I want to apologize to, you know, me on Dragon's Den. Um, we should be more inclusive. But the like, thing I is, he's still, yeah. he feels validated in the first minute. You hear him say, I, uh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have so many fans supporting what I say. I'm pretty sure he just muted everyone who was backlashing against him. Like, for every 300 people saying that what he said was wrong, there was this one person who supported him, and that's the feedback that he took. That's probably what yeah. happened. And saying, that's why I have so many people supporting me. That's what. That's why. And I'm pretty yeah. sure both sides of the aisle received death threats, but him and the business owners, unfortunately. But yeah, this is something that he started. And he's, yeah, he's not ap apologetic to begin with. At all, yeah. Like, what a yeah. piece! This guy's, this guy's a piece of shit. Full yeah, stop. Um, it's never okay to make threats. Um, it's never okay to bully and harass online. And what I mean by that, I, I don't mean you know, I don't mean that you know the business owners don't deserve valid criticism, and I don't believe that you should not be vocal about your disagreement. But you know, I think we can all agree common sense there's a line there's a line that you don't and shouldn't cross there's a line that you wouldn't cross in person and i just don't want the legacy of this segment to be pitchforks and you know people fearing for their safety i think we're starting to lose the plot of of i think what what ultimately the positive energy of this is which is let's educate people let's make the world a better place let's make people aware that you know certain things aren't okay from a cultural perspective um when people's personal he, he, so basically sorry. So, so basically, don't use, don't, don't be innovative with your food. Okay, as, did you know that as, like, chefs and, like, cooks, people experience by adding different, like, seasonings, different spices? That's how you make mm -hmm. food. This guy's a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. This guy needs to crawl his asshole back into the fucking sweatshop that he works in and stay there. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.